What's up buddies? Welcome back to Hoga. Today we're gonna do some deep stretching. It's mostly gonna be on the floor. That's why the camera set up a little different, but we're calling it Deep Stretch Sunday. Work at your level. You do not have to be like putting your leg behind the head or anything crazy. Nobody really cares about that. I mean, there's a pandemic. So go ahead and grab a strap or as always, you can use a tie from your bathrobe or a belt. That's what I have here. And yeah, put on something cozy. Maybe you have a sweater nearby because it's not gonna be as sweaty as usual. And we'll get started. All right. Let's take a moment to do one of my favorites, an under loved one, and stretch out our feet. So you're sitting on the tops of your feet here, tucking your toes under. You could even use your hands a little bit to manipulate to make sure those pinky toes are touching. And then go ahead and sit down on them. And then in a couple moments, if that starts to feel too intense, go ahead and you could lean forward. You'll still be getting a nice little stretch there. And then maybe bring hands to your thighs and dip right ear toward right shoulder. Inhale, circle them around. Left ear toward left shoulder, making sure that that shoulder is rolled back and relaxed. No tension there. If you're starting to feel it more in the feet, make sure that you're not holding it in the face or anywhere weird. Just breathe into it. Inhale, circle back. Right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, circle back. Left ear, left shoulder. I chose a bad hairstyle. <laughs> Inhale, let's do some big circles out in the back. And then switch direction. Inhale, bring, get all your hair out of your face if you were like me and decided to go hair down, Sunday sexy day. Inhale, bring the hands up. Maybe grab the left wrist with right hand. We're just trying to distract from what's happening in the feet. And exhale, let's just take a little side bend. It's not going to be that deep because you are balancing on the feet. Just a nice gentle one to warm up. Inhale back to center, switch the grip. It's left hand around right wrist. Exhale toward the thighs. Inhale to center. Come forward onto the hands if you're not already there. Sweet release, let those feet out. And then the best thing to do after this is just beat the shit out of them on the top of your hand. It feels good, maybe a little bit here. Mix it up, have fun with it. Maybe roll the ankles out a bit. And then coming to our next stretch here, we wanna make sure hip is lined up with knee, it's called puppy pose. And we're walking the hands down, okay? Again, this is another one. Please just work where you are comfortable. If you're here, that is amazing. Just make sure it feels good, no pain in the shoulders. It should feel like a good stretch through the chest, but not like anything is ripping or anything's going to fall off. And then if you're going a little bit deeper, maybe forehead kisses the mat. And then if that feels comfortable, maybe you stay there, then maybe you think you can sink a little bit deeper. Maybe you try chest and chin. Breathing here. We're gonna be holding everything for maybe longer than you'd want to, but that is how you get flexibility. You gotta be holding these postures. Just like if you're trying to build muscle, you need to do more reps, heavier weights. If you're trying to gain flexibility, you gotta go deeper and hold longer. Inhale, come forward, set yourself down. We're gonna take Sphinx Pose. So you're gonna have forearms parallel to one another, hands down on the mat, nipples almost escaping this onesie. And inhale, you are breathing up. It's a good chest stretch. So it's opening through the chest there. You feel like you're rolling your shoulders back, exalting your chest like a Sphinx. You can see why it's called Sphinx Pose. Toward the sky, maybe you're looking up. Keep some activity in your legs. You don't want them just flopping in, maybe toes pointing toward each other. You want toes pointed out, knees lifted off mat. All that good engagement there to 
protect your lower back. And you can hold here. I'm gonna make everybody hold here for at least five breaths. And then if you do want more, you feel you can handle more, you can root into the fingertips or the hands. Just make sure that you're not just slamming it through the back of the wrist and it's evenly distributed. And you can come up onto the hands here. Make sure again, no crunching or squishing in the lower back. And if you wanna walk them in even more, you can come even higher. Keep a little bend in the elbows there. Keep the legs engaged. Yeah. Gaze gently down the tip of nose, wherever you are, forearms can still be on the ground. There's nothing wrong with that. That's an awesome stretch. Exhale, come down. Let's send the left arm out. Hand down. Oh, that's not a shot. You see what I mean, though? So hand down is pointing straight out. If you want, you could bend it and cactus it here. But bring it out and then roll a little bit onto the left hip. It may be enough to be here. Go ahead, stay there. Or maybe you're bringing the right foot up, bringing that foot out, using the right hand to push yourself more on the side, deepening the stretch into that shoulder. Remember, wherever you are, be very careful. We're not tearing tendons here. It should feel good, okay? That's the name of the game. It should feel slightly uncomfortable, but it should feel good. And it should start to feel better as we go on. Wherever you are, when you inhale, maybe you think about relaxing. Maybe you scan your body for weird places you're holding tension. Check out your eyebrows, your toes. Let everything relax. And then on the exhale, maybe you deep it into that stretch a bit more. Five. left arm in, send the right arm out. Same way, you can cactus it if you want or have it straight out. Straight out is going to be a little bit lighter, so then you can go further there. It just really depends what you want. The cactus is going to intensify it. I should have said that the last side, but you know what I mean. Oh, cactus hurts today. And then, again, you could stay here. You could even stay rolled on your belly if having the arm there is enough. That's enough. Or maybe you bring left leg back. And you hang out here. Maybe close the eyes. Breathing in to the right arm, shoulder, starting to get into the chest. Do that same thing we did on the last side. Maybe you inhale. Think about where you're holding tension. Exhale, release it. Deepen the stretch. Breathing in. Maybe you're able to go a little deeper here for our last 10 breaths. Three, two, one, beautiful job. Roll it back, maybe bring forearms in, send the legs side to side. We're gonna bring just a little bit of heat into the back simply to warm the muscles up and make our stretching here a little bit safer. Because we're trying to get into the back, starting to get into the hips a little bit before we flip over. So. Inhale, you have all, you're hungover. 
you have different options for this as always. So option one, go ahead, take a half locust. You can have hands face each other like this, maybe hands clasped, keeping the feet on the ground. And again, it's tops of the feet on the ground, legs engaged, okay? And then you inhale up. And we'll all just hold here and see if this is something we like. Gazing gently down the tip of the nose, starting to bring some heat into the back. Getting into our active flexibility here. And exhale, release. Maybe left cheek comes to mat, you chill out for a second. Inhale, coming back up. You can keep that option by keeping the feet on the ground, by keeping the legs engaged, totally fine. Or you can inhale, lift the chest, hands don't have to be clasped. Bring the legs up as well. Try to keep the legs close to each other. Keep it out of the lower back, no crunching there, by feeling like you're wrapping the thighs in toward one another. Inhale a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. Maybe it's right cheek to the mat this time. Then inhaling, coming up. If you watched our videos before, you might have an idea where we're going, but again, any of those options, okay? Totally fine to stay here. Legs on ground, maybe legs lifted. Maybe you're bending legs, and don't worry, it's not gonna be your deepest bow pose, we're just getting started. But grabbing the feet, ankles, inhale, it's going to start by kicking into the hands. Then from there, you inhale, lift up. Try and keep the feet close to each other. Lift the thighs off. And maybe you can rock. That's uncomfortable. Don't do it. It hurts some people's pelvis. I'm just not feeling anything there today. This feels quite good. And inhale, lift a bit high. Exhale, release. Woo. Inhale, come back to center. You know what's happening. I'm sorry, right, like if I deceived you, but it is, this is all for the stretching, right? So this is the only, but we're not gonna get too much heat in here today. This is really just to warm the back up so we're safe coming into all of our stretches. So you choose where you're going. We're gonna try to hold this one a little bit longer, okay? Choose your level. Grab out of those feet if you're coming with me. Inhale, do a check in your lower back, please. If there's any pain in there, feel free to bring it down a notch, okay? Do not worry, don't be a hero, don't hurt yourself. Inhale, feet into the hands, lift legs, lift chest. Maybe you're rocking, maybe you're waiting to rock and roll. Maybe you're staying still, up to you. Five, think about bringing those feet closer together. Four, three, two, one, whoop. Bring it down, maybe hands make a little pillow. You put your forehead on it, swing your legs side to side. Yeah. Bring the arms under you, just tip it up into a cobra. If you want to bring it up into up dog too, go ahead and do it. Just a little bit of release there. Maybe wherever you are, looking over left shoulder. Looking over right. And go ahead, bring it down. Okay. Next thing we're doing, what's the best side to show you? Maybe it's best to, yeah, show you on this side. So. Left arm comes down if you want, but try it. Let's all start here and then you can decide if you want to be up a little bit higher, okay? Forearm down, trying to keep it parallel to the top of the mat. Pushing hand and forearm into the mat. Inhale, kick up, left leg. Maybe you're just kicking up left leg, pushing into the arm, that's enough. Maybe 
You bring hand behind you, it finds the foot. Maybe finding the foot is enough. Maybe you bring the foot hand down to the top of the ankle. Kick into the hand and maybe you lift up here. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Bring it down, switching side. All right, forearm comes parallel. Maybe you're just pushing up here, that's fine. Maybe you're kicking the right foot up, and that's enough. Maybe you're reaching for that foot, you find it, that's good. Maybe you're kicking into the hand, that's good. Maybe you're coming up. More on the palm here, kicking into the foot, taking the stretch this way. That's a doozy, isn't it? Three, two, one. Exhale, bring it down again. Maybe that little pillow there. Swinging the legs side to side. And then inhaling. Let's send it all back just for a moment to child's pose. Enjoy the release. Inhale, come up to all fours, and then we're going to leave the back after this for a little bit and start going for hips and hammies. So, left leg up, right arm up, either staying here or reaching around, finding the top of the foot. Same thing as in that other stretch, maybe just holding it in, maybe kicking into the hand, opening through the upper back. Tiger pose. Maybe you fall out. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, other side. Right leg, left arm. Kick the leg in. Maybe it's there you stay. Maybe you reach around. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you are kicking into the hand, thinking about it coming more through the upper back and chest than the lower back, okay? Pushing through the right hand. Strength, strength, strength. Exhale, release. Awesome job, circle out those hips. Make sure your strap is nearby. Come through, lie down on your back. Just cause it'll feel nice after that back stuff. Hands behind thighs, rock and roll. come down and just start to get a little juicy and then we're gonna level it up so left leg out right hands on top of right shin or knee start to make circles there into the hip Switching direction. Inhale, right arm out to the right, left hand to the outside of right knee. Cross it over the body. Just take a gentle spinal twist. Does not need to be crazy. Should just feel nice. Inhale, 
the center. Switch each side, right leg out. Bring that left knee up, hands around. Start to circle that. Just take note of which direction you're moving because then we're gonna switch. Should feel nice. And switch. Maybe roll the ankle out with it a little bit as well. Then right hand's gonna come to left side, left knee. Cross it over the midline of your body. Left arm comes out, taking a spinal twist. And hold. Come to center. You know what's happening if you watch the hamstrings one. But we gotta do it, okay? If you're trying to increase flexibility, this is one of the best things you could do. So grab your strap or your bathroom. I still gotta find the word for whatever this is. If you know it, comment it below. But bring your thing and put it under the ball of the foot and flex that foot and keep those hips square. Push the ball of the foot into the strap. Feel like you're pushing the thigh away, okay? Does not have to look like the legs coming back behind the head. You're getting plenty of work here. Just keeping it up so long as you're pushing. So push in. We'll start to open up through those hamstrings. Keeping it active. That's the key here. If you relax and you let the knee bend. So you could have a little micro bend in the knee, of course, if it's hurting. But you want to keep it straight. So even if you're coming up here and it's really excruciating unless you bend the knee, bring it down here and try it from here or even here, okay? I want you to work where you are and try to keep a straightish leg and that's going to maximize the benefits of this for you. If we're looking for deeper flexibility, this is the gold standard. Keeping the leg straight, keeping it active. You can feel it all through that. Pushing in, inhale, push a little bit harder, feel like you're using opposing force, pushing in, pushing away but pulling it toward you, pushing the thigh away but pulling everything toward you, and keep it there, keep all that activity, and hold, five, four, three, two, one, go ahead, relax it a little bit, see if you can pull it in closer, but keep the foot flex, okay, that's key. We want that foot flex. Oh my gosh, I'm sore today. And then inhale, let's bring the strap, both sides of the strap into the left hand. Coming for the IT band stretch, keeping it flexed. Bringing it down here is actually gonna be less of a stretch than keeping it up here. Getting that thigh closer to the belly and bringing it just over the midline slightly does not take much to feel it there in the IT band. It's very, very delicate, usually very tight. Foot flexed, pushing it, push it away. You got it. Breathe into it. Maybe look away. Look away from all the pain. I know this is the worst. You guys are helping me to do this. I know I should be doing this every day. When my splits were at their deepest, I was doing this like at least four times a week, and then I just, you know, twice a week I think is a good goal for this. We should all try twice a week. Maybe you bring it over a little bit more. You feel it shooting through the IT band into the side of the glute. Inhale, bring both of the straps into the right hand this time. Bring the leg out toward the right. Maybe you can rest the top. I said the top, I think that's the back of that. You know, tricep end of the arm on the mat or the floor. Kick in, push away. Maybe bring hands to belly. Check out your breathing, maybe bring hand to left thigh to make sure it's staying down, okay? We don't want that lifting up or anything. If you want to, if you need to bend it, if the lower back's hurting, you could for sure go ahead and bend that left leg. That might make it just a bit, give you a bit more relief. Inhale, before 
we bring it back to center, taking a half happy baby here. So you could stay holding on to the strap or you could grab onto the foot and you're bringing that knee down past the armpit, starting to open up at the hip here. But again, as always, keeping that foot flex, flex, flex. Breathe in. Oh, I can feel it. That feels good. And inhale. Bringing both the straps back into the arm. This time flexing to the foot, getting all that activity in. Come up high. If you could grab the foot, grab the foot. Try and bring nose toward the knee and we're going to hold. Pushing away. I need a straighter leg. Three. Two, one, awesome job guys, release, maybe take a moment, see how different that right leg feels from the left, should feel way more open, it should feel worth it, because I know how awful this could be, but it is usually worth it, deep, deep release, so set your right leg out straight, bringing the towel thing, can't find a name for it, around the ball of your foot, all right, and flexing the foot back. We're doing it all again. Pushing away. Remember, one leg is always way more flexible than the other. Do not worry about it. And flexibility is, it's really, it's not linear. People think like, oh, you've been practicing for six years. Like, oh, you get more and more flexible. And that's true for some people, but for some of us, what we like to do in the practice changes. We then sometimes just become more about strength, lose a little flexibility, like it it goes. Or my splits were really deep around this time last year. They weren't deep like that until like three years ago, they were deep like that. And then it kind of was doing more strength stuff. And then again, whatever, this year I was focusing more on inner hip than hamstring. It just happens, so don't compare, right? Like they say, don't compare yourself against others, but don't even compare yourself to yourself of a year ago or two years ago okay just work where you are if things happen our interests shift and what feels good in our body shifts so kick that ball of the foot in if you got a little distracted in my chat and loosen up bring that activity back flex the foot back push it away breathing in the hamstring finding deep release Awesome job. Maybe it comes in a bit closer. And then this time we're really going for a and up stretching here. Push the foot into the thing even harder. Pull it in towards you. Push the thigh bone away. Okay, keep it super active here for five, four. It's okay if it shakes a little bit. Three, two, one. Exhale, relax it a little bit. Just keep the flex and see if you can bring it even just a centimeter closer. Breathe in, maybe look away from the leg, look away from what's happening. Bring both sides of the strap into the right hand. Coming for the IT band again. Oh my God, this is terrible today. <laughs> it could be really little. I'm hardly doing it. I'm feeling it all through here and I've just moved my leg freaking from here to here, right? So do not worry about how far over it's going. Why am I so sore? How are you guys feeling? I think something's living in the one closet or in the attic. I might check that out later. And that's going to be my Sunday mission for the day. And now, at least then, now I'll be super agile after stretchy that if I have to run away from it, I can. Rolling out the animal. All right, see if you can bring it over just a little bit more. Look away from it, please, for the love of God. Look away. Hmm. Keep it activity, push it in. Push it away, pull it in. Oh my God. Inhale back to center. Moving both into the left hand. Bringing right arm out, bringing it down. Maybe the tricep can kiss the mat there. Maybe it doesn't. Really don't, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're getting a good stretch. 
pushing in, same thing, keep the activity. Sometimes it's easier to just relax at this one, but you wanna be keeping all that activity. And again, if you, even if you can grab the foot, sometimes you still do get a better stretch from having that slack there because you can pull it in even closer. Up to you though. It's your stretching session. Keeping activity. Awesome, I'm feeling released now. This feels a lot better than it did earlier. I hope you are as well, or maybe you hate me, maybe you've turned it off already. Inhale. Let's take that half happy baby. If you need to use the strap, use the strap, or maybe you could grab the foot, bring that knee down past the armpit. Maybe right hand is on the right thigh, encouraging it to stay down. Foot's flexed as always, all right? Three. Oh, this feels nice. Two. One, all right. One last moment of torture for this, then I think all the other stretches feel better. Inhale, bring it up, push in. Maybe you need to bring this leg up here. That's totally fine, okay? Do whatever you wanna do. Flex it, maybe nose toward me. Keep the leg active, okay? Even though we're more in a passive flexibility stretch here, you wanna keep it active. Three. Two, one, amazing job. Woo, release that. Should feel good. Roll the hips out. Let's take a full happy baby. Flex the feet. Grab onto the sides of the feet. Maybe if you, I don't know why I put these socks on. I thought, I, don't, I liked the color. But if you don't have socks on, maybe you can bring the thumb in between the pinky finger. Not the pinky finger. Oh my God, the pinky toe and the fourth toe. And just kind of stretch your feet out there. And we're going to be here for a little bit. So don't worry about it being your deepest. Just yeah, ease into it. Go somewhere that feels good. Rock around. Close your eyes. Sing a song to yourself. Enjoy your happy baby. Should feels pretty luxurious after all that hamstring work. Maybe the knees are surrendering a little bit lower toward the mat or the floor. Breathing into those hips. Going more for like a yin style thing here. So you want the release to be slow. Slow and natural. So I can feel now my hips naturally opening up. I'm not really pushing. It's just gravity doing its work. They're opening. If you want, you don't have to. If you want to take the heels, make it a wide leg happy baby like this, go ahead. Don't have to. Just if it feels nice. We're going to bring it a little bit back into those hamstrings, which we worked on, so that should feel good. And maybe tap. I like to tap, tap. If that doesn't feel good, don't do it, right? Which is what I like to do. Maybe do that for a second, then you come back to the happy baby. Do you hear that? That's why I think something's living in the attic. And inhale. Bring the knees into the chest. Roll the lower back out in circles. Then switch direction. Inhale. Come up, soles of the feet together, rock up. Find, maybe I'll face you for this. Find your butterfly pose. And Again, we're going more yin style. We're just easing into things. You don't want to just drop down to your maximum right away. You want to start by flexing the feet, maybe opening them up like a book, trying for a straight spine, maybe inhaling, coming forward just a little bit. 
Actually, no, let's change the breathing on that. Let's inhale up, exhale, come down. Inhale up, exhale, come down. If you want, you can circle it out a bit more if that feels good for you. I think we did this in another video. This is one of my favorite things of late. Keep breathing as you circle out or you're just coming forward and back. If you're circling, maybe switch direction. Mm, that feels nice. And then coming for a bit of a longer hold. So it is up to you. If you know that holding the feet, you're going to abuse the power of the elbows and push it down past where it wants to go. Maybe you bring the forearms down. Maybe the forearms don't come down. Maybe you just leave hands kind of by your belly, letting them open using gravity. Maybe if you feel comfortable, you do use those elbows a little bit to encourage the legs down. But again, we're holding for a while, so just be gentle and they will open as we move through the next couple minutes here. Gazing down gently over the tip of the nose. You're keeping kind of a flat spine. We don't want to be rounding here. So you're coming forward on a tilt, like meh. Yeah, <laughs> like meh. And breathing into those hips, my friends. I just realized that I'm calling this deep Sunday stretch, but it's going to be posted at like way later i don't know maybe you guys are midnight stretchers i don't know what people's schedules are but whatever or do it next sunday who cares time does not exist right now i just moved my elbows a little bit more to the side of my knees to push and that feels really good for me if that feels like everything's tearing open don't do it just an option just something i instinctively do these days i think it feels nice and then i move back Maybe you can go just a little bit deeper now. Doesn't have to be much, just a little bit. Breathing into those hips, keeping it out of the lower back as always. Should feel good. Should start to feel kind of good around now, maybe, hopefully. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, come up. That felt lovely. Maybe I'm alone here. I don't know. <laughs> Bring them out, okay? Let's go. Bringing them wide, you're not swinging them back to a full middle split. I mean, whatever, calm down, okay? So we're going to be doing side stretches, then coming forward here. We're gonna start to do a little bit of drilling just to feel the engagement of the legs because we want a very active stretch here. See if you could flex the quads and see if the heels come off a little bit. Release them. Inhale, flex. See if you could get those heels off. Release. Inhale, flex. Release. Flex. Release. Maybe you see, and you can bring hands down here too. Just see if we could isolate the muscles a little bit. Lift the leg up, come around other side, fingertips are on opposite side of the leg. Lift it up, it's harder than it looks, kind of stuff. Inhale, lift it up, other side, lift it up. But these are all great things to do to deepen the stretch we're eventually going to come into. Lift it up, lift it up. This time, lift it up, one, lift it up, two, same side. Lift it up, three, ah! lift it up, four, lift it up, Five. Awesome job. Other side, lift it up one. And work where you are, it doesn't have to be high, okay? Could just, or you could just flex. One, two, three, four, five, yeah? Three, four, five. Maybe, I don't even know if I can do this. Maybe bring the hands in. Lift up both. Three, two, one. Woo, go ahead, release that. And then we're gonna come for our side stretch. So you could grab your little strappy. Again, I'll show you how to use it. But first, see if you can bring forearm down here. 
So right forearm on inside of right shin. And then you're gonna use that to push and open yourself up here. And then bring the arm over. Okay, so kind of like you're at side angle. We got the bicep frame in the ear. Maybe you're one that could grab both feet here and then you use the push of the form into the shin to open yourself up more. Maybe you're bringing your strap around the foot here, forearm, and then bring it down closer to the, yeah, the arch and then using your strap here to pull yourself down a bit more and then you eventually crawl the arm down the strap more until maybe it crawls all the way down the strap, you find the foot. So, working from there, if you're uncomfortable with the strap and you don't want to be pushy pulling, just here, or maybe it's here. Huh? Wherever you're working, think about where you're going and don't go to your deepest just yet, right? We want to let gravity bring us there. Inhale, find your position. Exhale, release, keeping the legs engaged, okay? Opening up through the side body. We got upper back a bit with all those stretches we did earlier. Now we're opening up through the side here. Breathing in. Hello. Maybe you want to push up here and get down further on the foot. Up to you, okay, work, work feels good for you. But it's not about just grabbing the foot and closing down, it's about grabbing the foot and lifting up, okay? All super active there, try not to lift this left glute off the mat. Slow opening in the side body. Three, two, one, inhale, come up, square the hips over the leg, and then inhale, folding forward, okay? So it could be here, you could be here, and then maybe it's enough, you feel it in the hamstring and the leg there, just tilting down a little bit. Maybe you're coming down here, forearms are down, maybe you're bringing left hand to right side of that foot, right arm around, doing a little crisscross, bringing yourself down, making sure there's no pain in the knee here, okay? So please do not come down super far and injure yourself, okay? Work where it feels good for you, and it will open up over time. It might even open up as we hold here. Making sure those hips are square. Keeping right foot flexed, okay? Maybe keeping quad engaged, getting that feeling that you felt when we lifted the heel off early. Five, four, three, see, it feels really nice once it starts to open up, right? Hopefully. Two, one, inhale, lift yourself up, Ooh, feel the difference in right leg and left leg. Crawl yourself over here and take you that side stretch left side, okay? So remember where we're working, it can even just be here. It can be here, it can be here, it can be using the strappy to have something to walk your hands down to twist yourself up, and it's about raising nipples to the ceiling, not about being down like this. All right, we'll cover that with the hamstring stretch. So, find where you wanna be, and then even if you could grab the foot, maybe you don't at first, and you wait for it all to open up. Stretching here. I have no idea how long this is. But whatever, no, deep stretching, like flexibility takes more time than people think. It's about way more 
then 10 minutes at the end of your exercises. You could get deep stretchy like that, but if you want to advance and get kind of past the plateau, it's got to be these long holds. Hate to break it to you, but you learned a lot of it, I think. And it just feels so, I, I feel great. I feel better already. I'm glad Anya suggested this video. I woke up so stiff. Lean toward the ceiling. Maybe you can rotate and open up a bit more. Five, four, three, two. Oh, feels good. Let's see. I just open it up a bit more and we'll go again. Five, four, three, two. One beautiful job there. Inhale, square the hips over the left leg. If you want to strap too, feel free. Feel free to be here then if you want to be there and maybe square i always like to just bring the foot hand right hand to the left side square it up maybe it's forearm stuff maybe it's opposite hands to opposite side of the foot so right hand to the left side edge of the foot coming down it's just i don't know so i it kind of helps to keep hips square but it's not absolutely it's not necessary at all you guys can be here if you want who cares as long as you're not getting hurt, okay? I don't want to hear that anybody hurt themselves with this video. Please, please work where it feels lovely for you. Maybe checking in, inhaling, squaring it a bit more, keeping that foot flexed, quad engaged, no pain in the knee. If there's pain in the knee, please bend the, the knee a little bit or back off, okay? Holding for a decent amount of time so we can get the best opening possible. Maybe close your eyes. Take inventory on your body. See if you're holding tension anywhere confusing and release it. Make sure the legs are engaged. So feel free to relax the upper body. No pain in the neck. If there's pain in the neck, change the way that you're gazing. Breathing in, maybe you start to go a little bit deeper, maybe not. Maybe you're where you need to be. Five, four, three, two, one inhale come up you know where we're going my absolute favorite we're going to take a moment of activity here as well so you're going to come down we're coming down for the full leg straddle again legs do not have to be wide at all do not come to full middle split unless i don't know if you're contortionist and you want to go ahead but <laughs> keeping feet flexed toes pointed toward the ceiling we are going to come down here but first you're coming down to about your 70 percent okay so you could hold here comfortably but you're starting to bring a bit more heat in and that's going to make the release after this that much better so hands can be behind the back fingers clasped coming down or maybe you're just holding here and come down to your 70 percent and hold five Four, keep those feet flexed, quads strong. Three, two, one. Inhale, to 
come up. And then coming down for our deep release. So if you have any pillows or anything you want to stack so that you could be more upright and feel like you're releasing, go ahead. If not, maybe you're sliding hands down. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're here. Just make sure no pain in the lower back, keeping a relatively straight spine. So even if you're coming down, you don't want to be crouching down like this. You want to come forward, 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 forward with a flat spine. And then eventually relax down. But forearms can be down. I'm going to start with my forearms down here. And then hopefully crawl out. But if it doesn't feel good, I'm not going to do it. And gaze down. This is my favorite. I, I know. <laughs> I get a lot of hate for it. But I think it's really nice. Relaxing down. This is another one. Just everything. If you want that deep flexibility. This is key. I think the sun, who knows? Has this been two hours? I don't know. The sun's like, the sun's setting. Maybe go down a little bit deeper. Maybe you inhale up, build strength. Make sure the toes are pointing toward the ceiling. Then you exhale, drop a bit deeper down. Maybe the belly starts to kiss. Maybe the chin comes down. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the clock. Oh my gosh, I think glasses. I think it says 50 minutes or something. I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll do frog pose and plow, and then I will save. I want to do pigeon poses, but I don't want this to get, I feel like if this gets like an hour and a half, it's just going to intimidate you. <laughs> so we'll save some for next Deep Start Sunday. Hold, maybe you come down a little bit deeper. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh my god, it feels so good. Let's just stay forever. Let, let's make it two hours. Why not? 4, 3, 2, 1, and it'll come up. Bring those legs in. Maybe you scoop them in. Bring the feet down. Bring the fingertips behind you. Bend the legs side to side. Windshield wiper and I'm out. All right. Time for my other favorite epic hip opener. This is one like when I say that maybe if you want really deep flexibility, you need to go deeper, hold longer. This is a good one to build up to, okay? So you could start by maybe trying to hold it like four times a week for a minute or two and then build it up. It's frog pose, my dudes. So, knees coming out. We want knees lined up with ankle here and then bringing yourself down. So if you come forward and you're like, oh, this is cool, I'm on my belly, you're actually losing the stretch because you're sending the hips forward. The hips also want to be in line with the knee and that's going to give you the best opening here. So find where you are. This is another one. Do not start at your max, okay? Relax down into it. And we're holding. This also, some days feels way better than others. Some days it's like the worst thing in the world. Some days it's the best. So if you hate it today, maybe you'll like it on Tuesday. Just trying to be optimistic. I want you to like it. It's a good one. Holding here, maybe pushing back at the elbows a little bit, seeing if you could feel like you're rocking those hips back further. That's going to give you that deep, deep opening you want. Breathe into it, okay? Keep your breathing calm. There's a lot happening in the hips, I know. They say hip openers are very emotional. If you want to cry, go ahead, cry. I'm not in the room with you. I don't care. Breathe. 
breathing in. Do that body scan, see if there's any tension anywhere. If you find any, go ahead, release it. So I'll show you what it, right? So you don't have to be that deep. So it could look like this. Yeah, right? So it could look like this. There's a lot of work happening here, setting the hips back. I'm just because I'm doing it with you. Some people like to bring the toes towards each other for a diamond shape. As long as you're setting the hips back, you're getting a very similar stretch. If that feels better to you for any reason, go ahead, try it out. Keep sending the hips back. Maybe the knees slide out a little bit further from each other. By that, I mean maybe they just go one centimeter more. It's not going to be any huge, massive sliding. Push in, send the hips down. You're doing great. Stay with me for 10. Push them back a bit more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Feet flat. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful job. Maybe bring the toes together, push into one hand, slide the knee, and be very careful coming out, okay? And then come forward and rock the hips out. I know. Ooh, that's deep, deep, deep release. Oh, no. I think we're okay. All right. It gave me a little power warning on my thing. But let's come. To sit down, just two more long holds. One's going to be plow pose because we did warm up and work the upper back at the beginning of this class. And then we're going to come into forward fold, which is actually my most loathed position, which seems wild, right? Because it's so simple, but I hate it. So coming back, if you do not want to plow, you could just have your legs up like this and enjoy the inverted there. You're coming with me. Inhale, press back. Maybe bring hands back to support lower back. Bring the toes down. Maybe hands stay here. Maybe hands come out. Breathing into the upper back. Maybe you release tops of toes, toenails onto the mat. Feeling that release through the upper back. Make sure there's no crunching in the neck. If you want to try, you could try to come to Karna Fidasana, bringing the knees outside the ears, squeeze it in there. That's going to up the opening a little bit. I'm a little tight for that today, but if it feels good for you, go ahead. And you don't have to start at your mat. Inhale wherever you are. Release up. Come up. Send the feet up. Find your strap, last thing, okay? Hopefully you should be feeling pretty loose, pretty gooey. We got into the upper back, we got into the sides, hips, hamstring, full Monty. Maybe bring the strap around, flex the feet. If you need that little bend, go ahead, take it. And then, if you could touch the feet, like I say, sometimes it's nice to have the strap actually give you a better stretch. And breathing into the hamstring. Like 
I said, this is for some reason, I just cannot forward fold. I hate it. Feet are flat. Stay with me, all right? Just a little bit more. This is your last stretch of the day, and you did really well. Or maybe everybody has turned this video off and nobody's making it here with me. Five. Four. Three. Uh, we need to stay longer. I agree. I think so. I'm trying to back out of this early because I hate it. I don't want to shortchange it, all right? Now, so now we got an extra thing in there. So five, four, three, two, one, and pass. Gently, gently, slowly roll back. Lie down, find your shavasta. Feet wide out, palms facing up. Being aware in the body feels different. Making notice if there's any pain in the lower back, that's okay, but just remember we wanna be really conscious of that, especially when doing deep stretching. That just means that we were overloading some things in the wrong place. Or maybe we were going too deep, rounding the spine, not keeping that spine straight. Nothing to be worried about, just take caution next time, right? Next inhale, roll out the ankle, roll out the wrist. Inhale, bring hands behind the rock and roll, just like we did at the beginning. You should feel really, really good. And, yeah. Thank you, guys. I really like that. I think maybe I'll do deep stretch Sunday, next Sunday, too. More lizards and lunges and all that stuff. Bye.